I started to do a show in Coventry the other day, so I thought instead of driving, I'll, I'll get the train. So I went online to buy the train ticket. It is the hardest process I've ever been through. It must have been easier putting space shuttles on the moon. Like the first bit made sense. It's like, where are you going from? Where are you going to? What date? What time? That's the information they need. Then it just starts asking increasingly unnecessary questions. So what sort of ticket do you want? Do you want a first? Do you want a standard? Do you want a single? Do you want a return? Do you want a peak? Do you want an off-peak? Do you want a super off-peak? Do you want a super off-peak midweek? Do you want a super off-peak midweek advance? Super saver anytime family and friends senior saver discount travel card? Like I don't fucking know. I just want to go to Coventry. I don't even want to go to Coventry. It's a shithole. Stop punishing me for having to go to Coventry. I get down further, it asks me to select my seat. It's like, do you want to be near the luggage rack? Do you want to be near the toilet? I'm like, no way do I want to be near the toilet on a train. They're always, they're always brimming with shite. They've got like, <laughs> shite on the floor, shite up the walls. They've got that braille on the wall as well. That braille must just say, you now have shit on your fingers. <laughs> down further, it's like, do you want quiet coach? Do you want Wi-Fi? Do you want a plug? Do you want a table? Do you want a window seat? Do you want an aisle seat? Do you want to be going the same direction as the train? <laughs> I hope I'm going the same direction as the train. If I'm travelling perpendicular to the train, just levitating ten feet above fields of barley, I'm not going to end up in Coventry, am I? Get down further, it asks for all the information you could possibly need to get a mortgage application in my name. It's like, what's your title? What's your first name? What's your middle name? What's your last name? What's your address? What's your big long debit card number that you can't read because it's all in square writing from a 1970s arcade machine for some reason? What's the date on it? Not that date, the other date. What's the little pissy number in the back? Then it's like, please don't not tick here if you don't not want us to not send you any special offers. I've got no idea what to tick. I know whatever I tick, they're sending 500 spam emails right up my arse down further, it's like, put in your email address. And it's like, create a password. And it says, put the password in again, just in case you fuck it up the first time, you fucking moron. And finally, after spending ages on this thing, I click the button to buy the ticket. It says there's already an account associated with this email address. <laughs> Can't remember the password. I'm not a rain man, you know what I mean? to click the thing to get a new password. It sends it to my email account. Now I've got to log into my email, after all the shite have been sent, find the one from the train company, I click on the link in it, opens up the train website again, but it's lost all that information I spent ages putting in. I'm raging. I'm like, East Midlands trains, you can suck my dick. I'm like, suck my dick? That's a brilliant password. I'll never forget that. Suck my dick. That is fucking genius. I type it in. Suck my dick. Comes back. It's not long enough. <laughs> I was raging at this, you know what I mean? I was about ready to join ISIS at this point. That's how angry I was. I was like, suck my dick, East Midlands trains, you cheeky cunts. Is that fucking long enough for you? Comes back, must contain a capital letter. Capital S, suck my dick, East Midlands trains, you cheeky cunts. Comes back, must contain a number. I'm like, capital S, suck my dick, East Midlands trains, you cheeky cunts. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. Comes back, must not be a password that's been used before. So. I've been in ISIS for three weeks now. It's a brilliant pension plan, one of the best. Um, folks, I'm doing a show every night at 7.30. It's called Right Wing Comedian. Oh yeah, you think I'm a dick now, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's loads of fun. So if you're free at 7.30, it's down on Cowgate in Espionage. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening. I've been Leo Kirsch tonight, cheers. <laughs>